Hey, so I want to make a new video going over my Dallas strats. I have now farmed roughly 18 plus mirrors. Um, maybe more like 19 or 20, but we'll just say 18. As you can see, like a lot of mirrors and stash, divines, and like my character is extremely geared. Multiple mirror items. Yeah. Uh, we'll go over these Atlas strats and what changed. Um, and more so find about the mechanic. So this is the one I'm currently using if I will use for the rest of the league. Um, and I want to talk about the other ones, of course, as well. But this is just Legion. Oh, I added some virtual spawn chance. Took out a lot of breach spawn chance. Still have a couple of notes though. And that's really it. So it's essentially just pure Legion with some virtual spawn chance and breach spawn chance. Uh, virtual is really, really, really strong in this league mechanic when you have like, you know, 5k plus juice. If you have like two or 3k juice, I wouldn't really bother doing virtual. But when you have, when you have like 5k plus juice, it's insane. If you have like 9k juice in your map, um, these virtuals will have a very high chance to give you a divine. So it's really, really nice. Um, you definitely want these small nodes too, which I guess I to just update this. But yeah, take these small nodes as well. Let's take out these map nodes. That's it. So yeah, virtual, very strong, very worth doing. Um, Legion is insane. I'm very happy with it and yeah, definitely gonna stick with it. One thing to mention on this Atlas tree, if you're uh, struggling to pop into legions, you can take this small node for increased duration, or you can take these nodes as well. So yeah, uh, personally I don't take it because, you know, most of the time when I'm doing legion, uh, it's white mobs that are left, like I got all the rares and I just missed like one or two white mobs and you know, I just want legion to pop. So, so yeah, I don't take it, but you certainly can if you're having uh, problems popping the whole legion. With that said, uh, the legion tree is very hard because killing you know, legion monsters with like 8 or 9k juice, it's not easy. Uh, don't do this tree until you have head enter and like a really good bow, I'd say. Um, it can be very, very challenging, very difficult. So keep that in mind. Um, outside of that, we're not taking on, on a nightmare anymore. Um, this permanent delay is just really ripping these maps. And you can break your maps easily. If you have like a 10k juice map and prime deli, you can easily break your map. So I highly recommend temp deli, especially on barrel chambers. Because on barrel chambers, you don't even need this. Um, all my maps are always full cleared with Delhi every single time. Because uh, Barrel Trimmers is just a great Delhi map. So yeah, it's not needed at all. I just take these small nodes instead, so I can always clear a full map with Delhi. Outside of that, yeah, the tree is pretty much the same. Um, I personally do Burial Chambers, but you can do Cemetery. I uh, don't do Crimson Temple, because the Temple of League is really, really bad. About the carry and mage blood is just worthless. So yeah, Crimson Temple is bad. Burial Chambers is really, really strong because Headhunter is very high price. I think it's like 200 divines right now. And uh, Cemetery is also good. My problem with Cemetery, I tested it out a few times now. Um, it has a very low mob count compared to other maps. And natural spawn mobs are usually the highest value to maps. So yeah, I might switch to it later if Headhunter goes on in price, but for now I'm sticking to Burial Chambers as I do believe it's the best. Jungle Valley is also pretty good, but it's the uh, lowest value in terms of cards. So I think if for a map, you would have been off in the Cemetery than Jungle Valley. So yeah, this is my main tree, and it's what I plan on using. Um, now of course, there are these other ones real quick I want to go over. So I have this 8 mod tree, uh, it's called Easier, and I say, you know, do this if you don't have Headhunter. Uh, this tree has no Beyond, no Delhi. Um, it's just extremely simple and extremely easy. It's just farming eight mod maps to sell on TFT. This is a strat I personally also did when I started. Uh, because Beyond and Delhi with no head enter, these juice maps with MF gear is just way too challenging. So yeah, I really recommend to run this tree to sell the maps on TFT and you'll be fine. Once again, I recommend uh, Barrel Chambers. I have like Crimson here, but like just ignore this just because it's like old, right? So yeah. I recommend barrel trimmers for this, as it's what most people are running. You can also grab the original nodes if you want. I might put this in. But yeah, feel free to grab these. It has a little bit less value though, because you're not doing beyond. And you know, one of the things that makes virtual really strong is uh, also beyond. But yeah, I highly recommend to run this until you have Headhunter. It's very, very hard um, to run stuff like Dulium and beyond. And even Delhi, um, you can take out Delhi if you want, but like the thing with Delhi, right? Because we're not doing permanent Delhi, you just stop it. So when it gets too challenging, just stop it in your map. So yeah. 
Then of course I have the regular eight mark strategy. Um, this tree I'll probably add ritual too as well. I think ritual just nuts. You have to get some uh, map dude nudes or whatever. Yeah. Oh, on the nightmare. Uh, once again, I think you should take this out. Uh, I probably will update this and not have it in either. This is really, really makes the map hard once again. But yeah, this is just the same as other tree, but it has beyond uh plus deli. And it's the same thing. Eight map power is really, really strong. If you don't know, you just go on to TOT Discord and select eight maps. Um, it's very well worth doing, and it's the easiest atlas to do out of all of them. So, you know, Legion and stuff makes the map a lot harder. So yeah, very basic eight farm. I can always recommend it. It always makes currency. Even only half your maps sell, you're still making a lot of profit this league. So keep that in mind. You don't need all your maps to sell. And then yeah, outside of that, I just have this Harvey strat. Um, this Harvey strat. Um, I don't really recommend, but if you really don't want to do eight mods and you can't really do Legion, then sure, go do Harvey. It's not bad, you know. You will spawn extra rare mobs and just spawn a lot of beyond mobs. Harvey's always good beyond. Eight maps will take longer. So yeah, I think it's like the worst one here, but if you just don't want to do eight mods and you can't do Legion, then Harvey is good. Um, outside of that, I get a question a lot like, you know, what about Abyss? So the reason why I don't do Abyss and why I think Legion is better is because Abyss essentially requires full investment, right? If you're doing Abyss, it's either Abyss or Legion. What do I mean by that? So if you're doing Abyss, uh, you obviously need all the Abyss notes, right? Which is very, very point hungry because you need all these, this, uh, all these notes, a lot of points. It's like 14 or 15 points, something like that. Um, then you also need the Abyss Scarab. Guild of the Abyss Scarab is mandatory when doing Abyss. Then you also would want Abyss Compass. So essentially you're replacing all your Legion stuff already, right? Then on top of that, you use your maps, right? All your maps to roll with like uh additional projectile. So we have any here. So yeah, you need all your maps when doing abyss to roll monsters fire two additional projectiles when doing abyss maps to make it actually worth it. So why do you need this? Because how the abyss fire works is it's an enemy. Um it fires usually only one projectile when you like do 30% damage to the spire. But if you have this mod, it plus the top wheel on your atlas, top hat, so all these increased effect nodes, it fires three additional projectiles. So what does that mean? So now when it spawns mobs, it spawns four times the mobs that shoots out four projectiles. So yeah, doing abyss maps, these monsters fire additional projectiles are absolutely mandatory. This is why I don't do abyss because specifically only buying maps with this one mod is very, very annoying as a solo player and it's just not fun. Um, it takes a long time to buy a lot of these. You can also make your own maps like Chaos, Spam, and then Exalt Slam. But yeah, um, this is why I don't do Abyss. Also, I think Legion is just as strong as Abyss. The reason why is because Abyss doubles your map time. And this is something that a lot of people don't, like, don't take into consideration. But map time is a real thing. Um, you know, I'm probably doing two extra maps of someone who's doing Abyss. Like, it's actually that much of a difference. So I'm getting like 2x the chance of getting those juicy wild woods that have like 10k plus. I'm going to see more of them than the person doing Abyss. So yeah, like I do think Abyss is good. You can certainly do it, but that's the reasons why I don't run Abyss. Um, but you know, you can do any of shot this league and make it absolutely insane currency because yeah, like currency this league is uh, just insane. It's You can't lose money doing anything. It doesn't matter what shot you do. You're going to profit a ton. Also, just a note on that. Always run a range, a range strong box. I get this question all the time, like, hey man, range is pretty uh, expensive. Should I drop it? Like, is it worth it? Yes, this is always worth it. Always. Never drop in range strong box. It is just insane. Um, the, it's really, really cheap. Last league, it was like 280 chaos for an rage, and it was still worth it, even without all this insane juice. So yeah, with the range being like half the price now, with all this insane juice, it's absolutely nuts. Um. So yeah, always run and raise strong box. Never drop this. It's it's one of the most insane mechanics, especially for the time investment. As you're just clicking the box and killing the monsters, right? It's very little time investment as well. So yeah, uh, so that's about it for the video. You know, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a little comment below. I also stream daily on Twitch, of course. Um, honestly, just farm years this league raw drops. But yeah, it's been a very fun league, and I will have a wisp video up eventually. I'm kind of still trying to min-max myself. 
and I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do that video. But yeah, that's about it.